Hey there, NFL fans. Welcome back to NFL Profiles, your go-to channel for all things Travis Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm your host, Brian, and I'm thrilled to have you here with us today. Before we dive into the latest news surrounding Travis Kelsey, his talented girlfriend Taylor Swift, and the powerhouse Kansas City Chiefs team, I want to take a moment to express our gratitude to each and every one of our subscribers. Your support means the world to us, and we love hearing your thoughts and comments. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of NFL enthusiasts. And remember, your insightful comments could be featured in our next video, so keep them coming. All right, folks, let's get into it. Today, we've got three exciting updates to share, so grab your snacks, settle in, and let's jump right into the action. So, the buzz surrounding Taylor Swift's recent concert in Sydney didn't just stop at her electrifying performance. Nope, it seems there's been a bit of drama offstage as well. Reports surfaced that Taylor's father, Scott Swift, was allegedly involved in an altercation with a photographer on the northern coast of Sydney. This incident happened just hours after Taylor wowed the Aussie crowd with her stellar performance. Now, Taylor's team has stepped in to address these reports, claiming that the photographer was the one who acted aggressively towards the star and her entourage. According to Taylor's spokesperson, two individuals aggressively approached Taylor, grabbed her security staff, and threatened to throw a member of her team into the water. The North Shore Police Area Command confirmed the incident in a statement but declined to name the individuals involved. They stated that they were investigating a suspected assault after a 71-year-old man allegedly assaulted a 51-year-old man at Neutral Bay Wharf around 2.30 a.m. local time. The younger man reported the incident, and officers assigned to the North Shore Police Area Command are conducting inquiries. The man did not require medical treatment, the statement reads. Later reports from Sky News Australia revealed that Scott Swift was indeed one of the parties involved in the scuffle. The photographer in question was identified as Ben McDonald, CEO of Matrix Media Group, who was reportedly snapping photos of Swift as she and Scott disembarked from a yacht in Neutral Bay. When the altercation ensued, Swift and his daughter had already entered a waiting car, as reported by ABC. Allegedly, Swift's team attempted to shield her from being photographed by using umbrellas. McDonald claimed that Scott accused him and punched him in the face. In 23 years of doing this, I've never been assaulted, let alone a father punching me in the face, he stated. Swift Sarah's tour shows concluded at Sydney's Accor Stadium this week. We've had wonderful times. I gotta tell you, the Grammy winner exclaimed on stage. You're here in one of the most interesting cities in the world, and you chose to hang out with us. Thank you, guys. Travis and Jason Kelsey have been enjoying some well-deserved downtime after a grueling NFL season, but they'll be back behind the mic sooner than expected. Now, you might recall from our previous news update that Travis Kelsey has been making headlines not just for his on-field prowess, but also for his high-profile romance with none other than Taylor Swift. Quite the power couple, right? But even before Travis made his relationship with Swift public back in September, he was co-hosting a popular podcast with his brother Jason called New Heights. On this weekly show, the Kelsey brothers come together to chat about life, the game they love, and the standout moments from their respective weeks. Originally launched every Wednesday during football season, with sporadic episodes during the offseason, there's been a big update on the podcast front this week. No new episode tomorrow, but our weekly episodes are back next Wednesday, announced the official social media accounts of New Heights on Tuesday. Fans responded to the post expressing their disappointment but understanding that the brothers needed a break. Thanks for finally hitting us back, was legit starting to think you were just gonna ghost us for a while. Enjoy your well-deserved rest, guys, wrote one fan. Another chimed in, 
I'll wear my new Heights merch this time even though there's no new episode. And a third lamented, what am I supposed to do tomorrow now? Since winning the Super Bowl, Travis has been keeping busy, including jetting off to Australia to catch Swift's era's tour performance in Sydney. Meanwhile, Jason Kelsey has been keeping Eagles fans and much of the NFL world on edge, waiting for news about his future as a player. Many have speculated that he might retire ahead of the new season, but so far, he's been tight-lipped about his plans. It's exciting to think about the possibilities, it's exciting to be able to lose weight, feel good, and not have to physically fight for my life every day," Kelsey shared on the Greenlight podcast. I think it's also daunting. It's anxiety-inducing, and at the end of the day, it's the unknown. Stay tuned for more updates on the New Heights podcast and the Kelsey brothers' adventures both on and off the field. And remember, your comments could make it into our next video. Now, if you've been keeping up with the Kansas City Chiefs, you know they've been riding high since their back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories, with Andy Reid at the helm. Reports have been swirling about the possibility of Reid hanging up his coaching hat, but it seems those rumors might be put to rest soon. According to NFL insider Tom Pelissero, the Chiefs are gearing up to kick off contract talks with head coach Andy Reid during the offseason. Reid, who just clinched his second consecutive Super Bowl win after defeating the San Francisco 49ers earlier this month, is reportedly ready to negotiate his future with the team. Currently earning $11.5 million on his contract, which he secured after his first Super Bowl victory in 2020, Reid could be in line for a hefty pay raise if the Chiefs decide to reward him further, potentially making him the highest-paid head coach in the NFL. As it stands, Sean Payton of the Denver Broncos holds that title, raking in $18 million annually. If Reid were to become the league's top-paid coach, he'd see at least a $6.5 million bump from his current salary. The Chiefs are expected to make significant moves this offseason, with general manager Brett Beach also set to receive a new contract from the team. Despite being one of the lower-paid general managers in football, Beach's stock is likely to skyrocket after building Super Bowl-winning rosters for Reed. NFL insiders anticipate that contracts for both Beach and Reed could be finalized as early as next month. Now, speaking of Reed, Let's not forget about his infamous sideline spat with star tight end Travis Kelsey during the Super Bowl. But despite that heated moment, Kelsey made it clear where his loyalty lies. I'm a passionate guy, Kelsey stated. I love Coach Reed, Coach Reed knows how much I love playing for him, how much I love being a product of his coaching career. I won't play for anybody other than Big Red. If he hangs it up this year, I'm going with him, man," Kelsey declared. So, there you have it, folks. The latest scoop on Andy Reid's future with the Kansas City Chiefs, straight from the heart of NFL profiles.